Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Fox React. Today we're checking out a vid from the Goji Center about Titanus na Kika. I hope I didn't butcher that, but apparently Godzilla massacred an entire fleet to save this Titan. Let's see just what's so, what's so special about this one new Titan. Welcome again to the Titan Observatory. Today, we will uncover the hill. secrets of what is possibly the most elusive Titan in the MonsterVerse. Elusive because this Titan is actually right in front of us. You just can't see it yet. Whoa. Let's see what we it can do visible? about it. <clears throat> Initialize Sonic three-dimensional mapping protocol. Let's see hmm. if that works. Uh, there we go. Ladies Whoa. and gentlemen, Titanus Nakika. Nakika. Oh, I did like say the that previous right. video in this series. This episode will be divided into three parts: Nakika's origins, right. its insane story in the MonsterVerse, and then we'll conclude by going over its special abilities. All right. This right is now, cool. let's very quickly find out where the name Nakika originates from. Hmm. All right, so, so this Nakika was actually a deity worshipped by the Kiribati natives found in the Gilbert Islands in Micronesia. All right. This god of theirs was the son of Naatibu and Natukes, and the one responsible for putting together this set of islands. The most hmm. important okay. thing to note out of so all of this is like that this deity resembled an octopus. Which is probably why this particular titan was Whoa. named Nakika. Earlier on, this titan was design. also referred to as Kraken, another slightly more popular name oh, sourced yeah. from Norwegian folklore. According to their Let's mythology, the this was a large cephalopod sea monster that haunted the Norwegian and Icelandic ocean waters, whose territory stretched all the way to Greenland. Awesome. So, very cold water. Awesome. Remember these two facts as we move on to the next part. That That's all we really need to know about the mythology of this creature. Now, let's move on to its history in the MonsterVerse. All right. Even though this Titan was not showcased on the screen, it actually had quite a sequence in the official novelizations. In the King of the Monster adaptation, it's Ooh. mentioned that Nakika was discovered not too long before the events of 2019. Its discovery was awesome. so recent that one, it had not been given an official name yet, and two, its outpost was still secret even within Monarch. See for yourself, mm. okay. you won't be able to find this outpost on Monarch's there. website. Yeah. Yeah, not long before mm. 2019, an expedition team ran into some weird bioacoustic signals that were being emitted okay. by something somewhere in the Indian Ocean. They couldn't see it, but they knew it was there. It so was okay. not until they had finished building a facility around it that they finally figured out what it might have looked like. The novelization tells us that this kaiju was found wrapped around a sunken Russian submarine that had gone missing. All right, the so facility that was built around this monster was a well. floating facility with just enough buoyancy to float 30 meters below the water surface. Hmm. The main parts consisted of labs, observation decks, and living quarters were found in these two places. To okay. get closer That's to the cool. Titan, you had to travel through the tubular elevator shafts that took you right next to Nakika. Like the other Monarch facilities, That's this really place cool. had a containment field that prevented the Titan from escaping, and the infamous kill switch. Now that you know how this Titan was kill contained, switch. let's find out what happened after Ghidorah told all these Titans that to wake up. Walk. After Ghidorah's call to arms, all Titans from all over the world began to escape from their enclosures and wreak havoc in the surrounding populated areas, including really awesome Nakika. Scene. But this guy did things differently. Oh, the facility so? built around this Titan was able to find out a few strange things about Nakika. Like this what? thing had a huge brain, a little bigger than uh, necessary. Hold on, folks. And hold on. And we're back. All right. Apart from that, it had several other brains that controlled each of its tentacles, oh, meaning that cool. this thing wasn't just huge and powerful, but extremely intelligent. We I'll are about to find out how. Unlike the other titans that were beginning to wake up, like Methuselah, Scylla, Mukele Membe, and Behemoth, this titan actually began to shut down, or shut die. Down. Whoa, the people what? in the facility began to get suspicious on why this titan was dying on them. Wait, 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 wait. So King Ghidorah wakes up all these titans, and Nakiki is like, peace, and starts to die. Damn, that's gotta be like the biggest Uno reverse, reverse card ever. 
Well, it's like peace, boom, just straight death. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually hilarious. As they were figuring things out, one person in one of the lower observatory decks managed to get a good glimpse of Nakika opening its eye and staring right at him. The scanners, however, awesome. picked up a dead kaiju. But no, this guy wasn't dead. It was playing dead. Oh. Why? Believe it or not, Nakika was so intelligent that mm. over time, it determined that the containment field only worked on living titans, not dead. Oh, Something the Monarch crew didn't even realize. Hmm. So this thing manipulated its radiation signatures to appear as if it was dead. Okay, this cool. allowed Nakika cool. to literally slide out of its containment facility. Very but it was not finished. It had orders to follow. The novelization tells us that Nakika broke the shaft that led to this specific observatory deck, and with its long, thick tentacles, it literally dragged down and sunk the entire facility in down. a matter of moments. Nakika proceeded to continue its path of destruction, sinking any surrounding vessels or other floating craft. Ooh, this is Nakika's role in the events of 2019. But Nakika was about to do something even more impressive. If you are enjoying this video, please take know, a split second it. to like this video and hit that subscribe button. And check out our merch if you haven't, including a poster that features this titan. Oh, okay, cool. that's it. After Godzilla's victory in Boston, the world was a completely different place, with most of the major cities destroyed and their governments going nuts. Many people started to get a little too confident and decided to take matters into their own hands. And let's just One see of how these they did people that. named Manch Rivikov led an expedition to capture Titanus Nikika using some borrowed military equipment and some abandoned monarch containment supplies they picked borrowed. up along the way. <laughs> we are now in the Sea of Okotsk, a cold ocean where Rivikov found this octopus like Titan. Okay. Like the Norwegian myth, this kraken can also dwell in frigid waters. But now, only to get caught by these now-labeled Titan traffickers and contained <laughs> underneath an oil rig. Now, how did they manage to contain this kaiju this time? How? Because the previous containment difficult. field was energy-based. These guys went with a more rudimentary method to trap this kaiju, a giant net. Really? Yep. Monarch had That's a lot it? of these. The novelization continues yeah, to tell us okay. that a certain Shut individual up. approached these men to purchase Nikika for a, a substantial sum. As the transaction was taking place in the oil rig, the submarine crew in charge of monitoring Nakika picked up an alarming signal. Enter Godzilla. Oh, hell yeah. Now hold up. The Why did Godzilla decide to show up at this very moment? The answer, Nakika cried for help. Yep, knowing very well that it ran awesome. out of options, this Titan's next move was an attempt to summon the newly crowned King of the Monsters. Awesome. And quite frankly, this was the best move anyone could pull off. I mean, no Godzilla doubt. proceeded to release Nakika by ripping the net using his strong forearms. But it's these guys now mean. wanted to trap both kaiju. Depth charges were sent down to try to disorient Godzilla, followed by an attempt to trap the G-Man with another net. Godzilla did not take this lightly. At this point, Nakika was now set loose and was free to roam once again. But Godzilla wasn't finished. After destroying the net that was launched at him, the G-Man now swims towards the submarine and slices awesome. it in half. With half awesome. his crew gone with the submarine, Rivikov now orders the nearby choppers to fire toxic gas at the G-Man in an attempt to weaken and then trap him, which is how they were anything. able to capture Nakika earlier. But this did not work. Godzilla now swims underneath the oil rig and with its most powerful weapon, the G-Man impales the entire oil rig with its atomic breath. That is killing incredible. Killing everyone on board, including Rivikov. We'd like to think Godzilla Whoa. was already pissed even before finding out Nakika was captured. While trying to Probably. trap Nakika, these guys had left a trail of death and destruction, killing an entire pod of whales. Oh, this is the last is time terrible. we hear about Titanus Nakika in the MonsterVerse, but its story gives us a lot to learn from. Let's now enter the analysis platform. Another ad. Titanus Nakika was obvious. All right, now to just explain, we are now in the analysis period. As you can see, analysis. Let's just see everything we can about this cephalopod uh, uh, titan. Obviously, a strange looking kind. It is kind of strange, I will say. But it's also very magnificent as well. I mean, it, it's just incredible. 
Length unknown. Huh. What, and then we'll just go on, on from the head to the end of the tentacles? Are the tentacles too long for that? Hmm. You know what? Let's pause and I'll get back to y'all in a moment. Alright, uh, here we go. You. Believe it or not, this guy had an internal shell that covers its extra large brain casing. But it also oh, okay, had an external cool. curved shell that protected oh, its main well. body. It was mentioned by the illustrator of this kaiju that this shell was probably lost between the events of 2019 and GVK. Mm. But back to the brains. Again, as mentioned earlier, it's believed that this titan was probably one of the most intelligent in this kaiju universe, I mean, thanks to its was. oversized brain and additional and ones found brain. near its tentacles. But the craziness does not stop here. In addition to having dinosaur. many brains, this titan also houses several hearts. In the real world, cephalopods such as octopuses and squid have additional hearts known as gill hearts, which serve gill to pump heart, huh? blood to their gills, which so happens to be green. Oh. It's also believed that this right, kaiju can right, regenerate cool. almost every part of its body. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, this is no ordinary kaiju. No, we aren't done with Nakika. So far, we have been referring to Nakika with male pronouns. But it's mentioned in the official the novelization that this kaiju can actually change from male to female. Nope, and going as yeah, far as both. being able to be both at the same time. Oh. This isn't the only yeah, thing okay. it can shift. In the beginning of this video, yeah, we had to initialize so. the 3D sonic mapping protocol. This is because Nakika can not only change its colors, but make itself invisible to the naked eye and go a step further and manipulate its radiation signatures to simulate a dead state. Cool. Perhaps the most important Actually, takeaway really in this episode cool. is how this titan was able to emit a distress call and have it answered by none other than the G-Man himself. The Meaning that Godzilla held this titan in high regard. Had this been another titan that Godzilla why. disliked, it's probable that the G-Man would have ignored these distress calls. But did you uh -oh. know Godzilla had helped other kaiju against other malevolent titans? Yes, Take actually. a look at these videos, including how Godzilla taught Titanus Amuluk a well-deserved lesson. Thank you for- And looks like that's where we're going to end off today's video. So, I want you all to remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Down in the description will be a link to the original video. And I want all of you guys to have a nice one. So, see you next time.